You can tell I haven't been using my 3DS for a while, because it doesn't remember what fucking day it is. Goodbye, Nintendo eShop. This episode's gonna be a bit different this time. Not only is it gonna be the first episode with just me, but it's gonna be the first episode where we cover multiple games. Depending on when this video comes out, the Nintendo 3DS eShop is either about to close or just closed. Same with the Nintendo eShop for the Wii U. And while I have memories for both consoles, I'd like to focus on the 3DS this time. We're gonna be looking over some eShop games, some demos for games I remember playing, as well as just generally going over some memories I have with the console. And just like every other episode in this series, I'm gonna have absolutely no script. Here we are with the first game on our on our lineup, uh, Kirby's Adventure 3D. Um, I believe, um, if memory serves me right, this is the first game I ever got on the 3DS. Um, it is also the first Kirby game I had ever played. Um, it's the first Kirby game I have ever, ever played, and I have a really funny story about why I bought this. Um, so, uh, this was back in school. Um, I had this one kid on the bus that would sit next to me that really really liked Kirby, and one day I was like, you can't like Kirby, Kirby sucks. Words I would fucking shank myself if I said today, um, but like, I said to them, wow, Kirby sucks. There is no such thing as a good Kirby game. I'll never like Kirby. Um, and then that exact same night, um, I went to, I think, Walmart, and got a Nintendo eShop card, and I think... Um, instead of being a little gremlin, I wanted to actually give the series a chance. So, um, I used the, the, the money I got from the- Okay, that was stupid. Um, <laughs> I used the money on the eShop card to get, um, 3D Classics Kirby's Adventure. So I could give the series a fair shot. And I really like what I played. Um, I knew there was a Kirby TV show beforehand. Um, Kirby right back at ya. Cause I watched that when I was like a ba little baby. Little, little baby man. When it was still airing on TV. I'm, I, have, I have very vague memories of Kirby right back at you being on TV when I was a little, little baby man. And that was like my full, full, full extent of Kirby exposure until I played this game. This very specific version of the game. And yeah, the rest was history. Um, I really like this game. Um... So, that same night, I whipped uh, whipped out my computer and watched a bunch of episodes of Kirby Right Back At You, the show, to see if I remembered anything. And very specifically, I remember uh, the episode where they all make cartoons, Cartoon Buffoon. I very specifically remember the part where Kirby lost all of his color at the very end of the episode. I, I would watch a few episodes of uh, the Kirby Right Back At You cartoon that night. And I remember really, really liking it, thinking this cartoon's the best thing ever. So I went through something of a Kirby phase. Um, the next day I got on the bus and, and I told that person, I really liked this one episode of the Kirby show last night, and I'll never ever forget. Uh, they, like, their eyes pop, like, popped. And they just looked at me and said, Kirby? It's like, it's like I was a completely different person than the person they were talking to, um, the day before. It just goes to show, never be afraid to give things chances. You never know what might be your next favorite thing. But yeah, this was my gateway drug to the Kirby series. And I, uh, been, I, I've been a casual fan of the series since, and I, I'm really proud of myself for actually giving this a chance. Cause like, when you're a kid, and you're really stubborn about something, it's really hard to like, change your mind, especially on your own. I checked out the series completely on my own, after c completely shit-talking it on the bus ride home that day. This was years ago. Like, holy shit. I wanna fucking punt my younger self. Anyways, that was Kirby's Adventure, let's move on to the next game. Oh man, this game. This game was my shit back then. You see, the point of this game is, you gotta fix the track before Mini Mario reaches the end. 
it's simple, and it's fun, and it's really, really... Mm, it's so simple, and yet it's so... I don't know why. This game just makes me happy. I'm so happy to be playing it again. I haven't touched it in years. Something about how the game feels is just so happy and joyous. You gotta build the path so Mario doesn't fall. But wait, that's not the next part. No, you gotta get this one, and then this one. Sometimes they'll mix it up. And then, ooh, it keeps you on your toes. I'm hyping this game up like it's the best thing ever. That just, that just goes to show how happy this game makes me. It's weird. It's such a nothing game, and yet it makes me so fucking happy. All right, next level. Ho oh, ho, what's gonna happen this time? Oh, this piece goes here. Ho oh, ho. Why am I having... Sometimes they'll just give you useless pieces. Uh-oh, Mario's about to fall. There we go. That's better. Now Mario won't fall anymore. There we go. <laughs> I, I, I love the jingle that plays whenever you put in all the pieces. It's just like, yes, I did it. I solved the basic puzzle. This one looks a little weird. I wonder what will happen. All right, so here's, here's the trick. You put that there, but then, wait a minute. This is a bomb. What do you do with the bomb? Well, when you don't need a platform anymore, you put it there, and then you put this one here. Why am I hyping this game up like it's so good? It's such a basic game, and yet I'm having so much fun. Mario's gonna grab some coins. Come on. Hurry up. Go faster, you son of a bitch, so I can use the bomb. Let me use the bomb. There we go. I use the bomb. And then I put that there, and then I put that there, and then the jingle starts, and then things get cool. <laughs> God, why is this game so good? As the game goes on, the levels will get a little bit harder, but then again, that's part of the course for literally every game ever made. Okay, I'll just get rid of some, some of the bomb. Some de bombs. Uh-oh, Mario's about to fall. Uh-oh, wrong... Nope, gotcha! I saved you, little buddy! Okay, I need to quit playing this game now before we're here all day. <laughs> but, like, this game was so good, can you blame me? This game means so much to me, and I haven't even played it in, like, ten years. Anyways, um, let's move on to the next game. Man, what a nice day it is today. Just chillin', playing Sonic 1. The life. Why play Sonic Origins? Why play... Why play the original Genesis version, you know? Why play any other version of Sonic 1? When you can just sit back, relax, just get, grab a cup of cocoa, maybe a slice of pizza, just chill out. Play Sega 3D Classics, um, Sonic 1 on your 3DS. I'm sorry. Is that not what you want? Would you rather you whip out your phone and play the 2013 version like a prude? Yes, indeed. If you want to play Sonic 1 on your 3DS, there is, in fact, an option with a level select code right there for you. Just for you. Just for you. I'm feeling starlight today. Let's go. But yeah, other than that, this is pretty much a straightforward port of Sonic 1. I used to mess around with this a lot as a kid. I remember I had a save state right with the debug mode code enabled, so I could just mess around with this game for hours and hours and hours. Also, the spin dash is here if you so desire. In case you're curious, the Sega Ages version of this game that you can currently get on Nintendo Switch is basically the exact same as uh, this. So, uh, good news if the Nintendo eShop is dead by the time you're watching this. You can still get this, while, um, well, I, I hope you can still get this, I got delisted a lot of versions of Sonic 1 when Sonic Origins came out, but I'm pretty sure the Sega Ages version is the, like, one version they spared. But other than that, there's not really much worth talking about with this. Um, it's just Sonic 1 on the 3DS. I just needed to include the blue bastard in this some way, somehow, some form. There we go.
Hey, I know how to make a Nintendo fan cry. Remember Club Nintendo? So yeah, this is the demo for Super Smash Bros. for 3DS that people that had a Club Nintendo Gold, I think, account, um, got. Um, you were given five codes, I believe. You could send the rest to your friends and one was for yourself. As you can see here, you can only use a select number of characters, um, Mega Man, Pikachu, Link, Mario, and Villager. I remember when I first got this demo, I was so angry I couldn't play as Sonic. Eventually, a public demo for uh, Smash for 3DS did release. But hey, if you were one with the club, the Nintendo of the club Nintendo, the club of the club Nintendo, uh, you got to access this game early. Or the demo early. And I think that's really, really neat. Too bad Club Nintendo is fucking dead now. <laughs> I miss Club Nintendo so fucking much. I should make a Club Nintendo Memories video if this video does well. Leave a comment down below if you're interested in a Club Nintendo Memories video. I won't get them. It'll just be me talking about how I got Paper Mario through the service and how I never played it after the first time I opened it. Oh, and I still have the Wii Remote holder. That was pretty fucking sweet. I, unfortunately, didn't join this service soon enough to get the cool stuff like the statue. Ah, uh, all you motherfucking Nintendo fans with your Club Nintendo Mario statue, you think you're so cool. You think you're so fucking cool with your Mario statue? I'm not jealous, I'm not jealous of you at all. Why in the hell would I be jealous of a Club Nintendo person that got the Mario statue and I didn't? I'm not jealous in the slightest! Did I hit the soccer ball and miss Link? I'm not very good at Smash 3DS, but I don't like Smash 3DS that much, so I don't care. Oh, how did I win that? But like, other than that, there's not really that much to go through here. What's in Games and More? I want to know what's in Games and More. Vault? Oh, tips. Cool. So nothing worthwhile. Let's move on to the next doodad knick-knack I got from the eShop. Oh, don't finish. I actually don't want you to finish. I don't want to say goodbye. I don't want to say goodbye. Hi, it's me. Let's take a brief intermission to talk about some random applications I remember using on the 3DS. Does anyone remember Nintendo Video? There was a lot of cool stuff on there. A lot of shorts from Cartoon Hangover, music videos from bands like Linkin Park, the Kid Icarus and Kirby shorts, and of course... DINOSAUR OFFICE! Rawr! I fucking loved this show. I remember when every episode would release on Nintendo Video, and I would watch it with my mom on my 3DS screen, and she'd love it. It's basically an office parody with dinosaurs, which sounds simple at first, but like, the joke is that everyone here is stupid. Either that, or cannibals, straight up cannibals, actual cannibalism happens in the show, a lot. And it was the funniest thing I ever saw as a kid. You know what else was really, really cool? Nintendo Badge Arcade. Yeah, I know. This game was a money-hungry whore, but I really enjoyed farming free plays to get some really cool badges to customize my 3DS home menu. It stopped receiving new badges in 2017, but you can still play it, and I believe you can still play it to this day, you just can't spend any money on it. So hooray, Nintendo Badge Arcade, you're still alive, woohoo, yay. Last one before we wrap up, because I started this video a month ago, and it is way too late. But I feel like I was the only person on Earth that used Swap Note, alongside the few friends I had. We'd send each other little doodles and messages, and it was so much fun. Except some people used it for more crotchy reasons. Because of that, this game's online services were shut down way too soon, and it basically became useless. And that's Swap Note's legacy. Although I remember it for so much more. I remember all the drawings and messages I would send to my friends. I remember the little tutorial character, Nikki, who would send messages every now and then. I think she's actually still around in newer stuff. And there was a sequel called Swap Doodle that absolutely no one used. Swap Note's legacy is gonna be crotches. But yeah, that's really about it. I do have other stuff with the 3DS I have a lot of memories with, but this video was already going on far longer than it probably should for a retrospective or look back or whatever you want to call it. Plus, I've had this video on the back burner for about a month now, and I just want to get it over with so I can move on to other projects that I know you guys are going to love. This was less of an intermission and more of a wrap-up in hindsight, but you know what? Whatever works. I think I got my point across. I think I told the stories I wanted to tell, and I think I made a fun video out of it. I know a lot of people, myself included, have a ton of memories with the Nintendo eShop, 
and we're all gonna miss it, even if we neglected it come the end of its life. I feel like we all have a memory with the 3DS. Not the Wii U, though!